guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fall smoky eye tutorial for you guys. It's actually a collaboration video and I'm super excited because it's my first collaboration video. My good friend here on YouTube, her name is Sandy, but her YouTube channel is Arnita Amor. She also did a fall smoky eye tutorial over on her channel. I will have a link down below in the bottom bar with her, a link to her channel. And under it, I will have a link to her video. Check it out. Let her know I sent you. And if you're new to my channel from hers, welcome. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Smoky eye is kind of an orange bronze. And I wanted to do it inspired of fall. I wanted to do an orange smoky eye from the beginning. And so, yeah. If you want to see how to get this orange smoky eye, then just keep watching. Thanks, guys. As I said in the intro, I'm going to try and be very, uh, more informative, excuse me, in my videos from now on because that was my goal, like with YouTube, was to pass my tips and tricks and help you guys learn those. So I'm going to try and be a lot more informative in my videos from now on. So let's get started. So I have a clean, fresh clean fresh face. I don't know what fresh has to do, but it's a clean face. And I also have clean hands. You want to make sure you always have clean hands because if not, that's how you spread bacteria and that's how you get acne and things like that. So I have clean hands and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my skin. Now I've already moisturized. I did that right after I um, washed my face. So I'm going to prime my face. And for that, going to be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer. I like to use this primer in my T-zone area, so on the nose, a little bit on the forehead, and a little bit on the chin. I'm taking the NYX Angel Vel Primer, and I'm going to put this elsewhere, so around this pore area here is where I'm going to focus this more, and that's the only reason why I use two primers, and I like these two together. You don't have to, I just like to. That's what I prefer. In here, and put this on with my fingers Our primer is on I'm going to let that sit for a second before I put foundation on and I'm going to prime my eyelids take a little bit of eyeshadow primer I'm gonna be using the one by Urban Decay this is the eyeshadow primer potion one now I'm gonna be really really honest with you guys for a second you don't have to go out and buy a $20 primer because that's how much this is it's like a $20 primer this is a sample that I got in one of the uh, naked palettes that I bought the only reason I'm using this is because I ran out of my drugstore but you can definitely use a drugstore one. This is the one I always recommend that is always in my makeup videos. And this is the Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow Primer. I love this. This is six bucks. So it definitely beats this. They both work just as well. I promise this one is bomb. I never have had a problem. My eyeshadow doesn't increase. But since I ran out of it, I just keep it to show you guys. I just need to go to the store and buy some more and I keep forgetting. So I'm going to be using this one. Pat this in. And I like to place it right under the brow bone all the way onto my lid. You also want to take it all the way into the inner tear duct of your eye as well as the outer part right here. You want to get it right there. So for today's video, because I have a feeling since we're doing a smoky eye that we will be having some fallout, I am going to do my eyes before I do my foundation. That way if I have fallout, I can wipe it off compared to if you have foundation, it's a little bit harder because then you wipe off your foundation. So. I'm going to zoom you guys in going to use a little bit of concealer on my eyelid, uh, cancel out all that redness and what's going on. So I'm going to be taking my Maybelline New York concealer. This one is in the shade medium, and this is the one that I actually use under my eyes. So what I'm going to do is put one, two dots. That's about it. And then I just, you can definitely use your finger, like your finger works just as well. I'm going to use a brush today. You can tell it definitely cancels out a lot of discoloration and it just gives me a nice clean colored base to work on and the colors or eyeshadows will appear more vibrant as well. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side now. What I like to do is I like to set them. I know so much to do, right? But I just like to set it because I just don't want it to budge in the crease area. So I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Powder. This one's in the shade Transparent, but it looks white. This is on a brush and I'm just going to pat it on. 
you always, whenever you use like a cream product, you always want to use a powder. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Paint Pot by MAC. This one's in the shade Ground Work, and it looks like this. The reason I'm taking this one is because I absolutely love this color, and I feel like it'll be a good base for our smoky eye. I'm going to take this on a brush. You can definitely take it on your finger. My nails just don't let me get up in there, so I'm just going to take a brush. I'm only going to be placing this on the lid. I'm going to use this as a base because I really want my lid color to be very smoky and dark. The right inner part of the lid all the way to the outer part. For our lid shade, I'm going to be taking my Lorac Pro palette. I'm going to be taking the shade Garnet, which is this shade right here. It's a beautiful shimmery orange. It's a nice kind of coppery orange, but it has a lot of orange properties. Right on top of that base that we put is right where I'm going to put it on very generously but as you can tell so little goes such a long way and this eyeshadow is just light. I wait. Also don't want to take the color anywhere up to the crease. You want to leave it from the crease, nowhere near the crease, low. Okay, is I'm going to take Soft Brown by MAC and a fluffy brush like this one and I'm just going to dip it in here and I'm going to stick this in my crease. Sure, just putting it in the crease. I'm starting from the outer part of the crease and working it in. So you definitely want it to go from outer to inner corner. I'm going to be taking the um, Resi palette by Anastasia and I'm going to be taking the shade Morocco and a little bit of caramel. I'm going to mix these two together and I'm going to be taking them on this kind of very dense uh, pointy brush and I'm going to work this into the outer part of the crease. Go ahead. Base of the outside and work my way in slowly I'm not gonna take it but half crease from half out what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a dense brush like this one Lorac Pro one palette again and I'm going to be taking the shade stable this time which is this one right here it's the last thing I'm going to do is go right back in and I'm going to be packing on this lid shade one last time so it's vibrant. Now I zoomed you guys out. We are done with the eyes for right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen up this line a little bit. So I'm just going to go in here and clean up any of the fallout. We're going to move on to our foundation. I'm going to zoom you out again. Foundation. I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Um, I'm trying this out currently. I'm going to be mixing it in with my tried and true L'Oreal Paris. I just can't seem to put this guy down. So I'm going to mix them together, make a little cocktail on the back of my hand, and then dot it on my face. Blend it out with a damp beauty blender. I'm going to let that sit before I actually set it with a little bit of setting powder. And while I do that, I'm going to do my fill in my brows and then I'll be back on camera. Now that I have my eyebrows on, I'm going to move on to highlighting. So I'm going to conceal my under eyes. So I'm going to be taking the same concealer I used to prime my eyelids, which is the Maybelline New York Concealer. This one's in the shade, I forgot already, medium. It's number 25. And I'm just going to use this in kind of a triangle shape under my eye. And I'm going to use this to cancel out a little of the blue tint down here and it's also going to highlight. You can use any concealer you like. This is currently my favorite one. I'm going to also, I like to define my nose, so I'm going to take it in just a straight line down my nose because of the way I like to contour. Is I'm going to take my flat foundation brush or whatever kind of brush. This one I got by Wet n Wild. It was like a dollar and I'm just going to pat out my concealer. How you want to pat is so it blends it out compared to swiping motion. It just runs it all over the place. Go. I'm going to set my under eye. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte 
powder, the one I used on my eyelids, and I'm just going to use this under my eyes and set the rest of my face. I'm going to be using my MAC powder, and this is the Select Sheer Pressed Powder. I have my little thing, but mine is in the shade NC40. I'm going to use this all over my face, like not in this highlighted area. I'm going to basically set elsewhere. So move on to contouring and the rest of the face makeup. We're going to finish our eye makeup. So I'm going to zoom you guys back in. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Stable with a little bit of Espresso together. I'm going to mix these two and I'm going to work this on my lower lash line. I'm going to tight line basically very close to the lash line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil brush, this one right here to be exact, and I'm going to be taking the shade Morocco from the Omrezi palette. I'm going to be taking that shade. And I'm going to just use this to blend out that tight line. Go ahead. Smoked it out really well because, I mean, it is a smoky eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mascara. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. You can take absolutely any one of them. I'm going to pop on my falsies off camera, and then we can move on to contouring and blush, etc. Um, if you need help applying falsies, I will leave a link down below. I've already made one. If you want an updated one, just leave a comment down below, and I can make an updated one. But, I mean... It's pretty basic or whatnot, so I'll just leave a link down below and I'll be right back. I put on my falsies, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put on mascara on my lower lashes. I'm going to be taking the shade Conscience and Shadow Play, these two together, mixing them in. I'm going to start sculpting out some cheekbones, that way I can look a little bit more slimmer. That's where I'm going to contour, bronze, whatever. So I'm going to just start there and then work my way in. So I'm going to run this also by the side of my temples just so, I know it looks dark and harsh, but just so we can put it all on the perimeter because it doesn't look right. Just a little bit of this Wet n Wild blush. This one is in the shade Mellow Wine and it's kind of a peachy tone kind of color with pink undertone so I really want to use this. Highlight. I'm going to be taking the Becca Jaclyn Hill collaboration trio situation, this little guy here, and I'm going to be taking Champagne Pop, and then I'll probably add a little bit of pearl on top. Stippling brush really quickly and just go over my highlighter. Take a big dual fiber and just blend all this cake together. Yeah. Now the last thing to do is our lips. So what I'm going to be taking is a lip liner. I'm going to take this one by Milani. You can find Milani at Walmart. CVS carries it. I've never seen it at Rite Aid, but definitely Walmart is where I find my Milani products. I'm going to take this lip liner in the shade Nude, and I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to be taking a Revlon lipstick. This one is in the shade Prim Rose. I'm going to put this over that lip liner. That completes this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video or if you want to see any more fall inspirational tutorials. No, if you want to see more fall makeup tutorials, fall makeup up until probably Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving, I'll probably be doing winter or holiday tutorials, but let me know your thoughts on this. Please don't forget to check out my dearest friend here on YouTube's channel. Be sure to check out my friend Sandy's channel. It's actually Arenita Amor. I will have it linked down below for you guys. Be sure to let her know that I sent you. Send her some love. Subscribe if you haven't already, you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!